We're checking out Okmulgee Mound National Historic Park near Macon, Georgia. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, we've decided to add one little quick stop at the end of our 2022 summer road trip. Guys, we went all over. We went to Cloudland Canyon State Park in Georgia and then spent some time in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We hit Dayton, Ohio. Then we spent a whole bunch of time exploring Minnesota and had a great time. You can check out the playlist for that trip right up here in case you're interested in any of that. But guys, we stopped to see the boys' biological maternal grandmother. Our boys are adopted out of foster care. We got them when they were 10 and six. They're now 17 and 13. We got to stop and see their grandmother, which was an amazing time to just visit with them. We had breakfast uh, this morning with her and then spent some time here at, at Okmulgee Mounds just hanging out and catching up. And now we're exploring the park a little bit. So guys, this is a National Historic Park. There was no fee to enter. Unfortunately, the power is out today. Otherwise, I would be inside this mound right now checking it out. But unfortunately, without power means no lights. So they're not letting anybody in. But we're gonna explore a little bit. Just check out some of these mounds. These Indian mounds are so cool. And I wish I understood better the history of why they built the mounds and stuff like that. Of course, archeologists are figuring that stuff out and studying it all the time. And of course, in the visitor center, you can check out all the stuff they have there. They didn't have the movie playing that talked about the history of this park, obviously because of the power outage, so I missed that. But I'm gonna make the best of it and just check this stuff out and use my imagination and try and figure out why these folks did what they did so many thousands of years ago. So come along with us and check out Okmulgee Mounds. So here's one of the mounds when you come up the hill from the visitor center. And normally you can go in this mound. And this mound was called the Cornfield Mound. I have always wondered what is inside these mounds. As you can see, closed due to a power outage. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer to find out. But that just gives me a reason to stop here on my way somewhere in the future to check this out. This is called the Earth Lodge. It supposedly has the original clay floor in the lodge that's over a thousand years old. Man, I wish I could have been able to see it. We're gonna go check out the temple mounds that are the largest mounds. I think the Great Temple Mound is nine stories up. We're gonna go explore that now. We did the drive to the Temple Mound. So that's part of the Lesser Temple Mound there. And then way up there is the Greater Temple Mound. We're gonna go check that out. Check out the Great Temple Mound. It's got stairs up to it, so we're gonna go climb it. And there's the steps to the top of the mound. Well guys, we made it to the top of the Great Temple Mound. I had to blow on my phone and cool it off so we could actually record this video. It's really hot here today. It's like 86, but it's going to 90 degrees. If you look right over there, let me see if I can get my finger to go in the right spot. Right, right there, that's where we were with the Earth Mound. So, we're now on the Great Temple Mound. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see the view. This is very similar to the Great Temple Mound at Kolomoki Mound State Park. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link right up here where you can check out how we explored Kolomoki Mound State Park in Southern Georgia. Another really neat set of Indian mounds. But I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see the view from the Temple Mound. And guys, this place is really, really cool. If you are traveling through Macon, Georgia, I definitely recommend you hit this stop. It's free to get in. You can explore it in an hour or two and then keep on your way. I'm gonna spin the camera. Let's take a look at what we can see up here. So here's the top of the mound. We can see some buildings in the distance. There's Delaney and Ellie and 
Barb and Tiller. So really cool on the top of this mound. It's hard to imagine people built this using nothing but dirt carried in woven baskets. Pretty amazing. And it has a nice step system to the top of the mound, so it's easy to climb up. That is easy if you like stairs. There's the view of another mound that you can go explore in a parking area. That road there follows an old railway that back when they put in this railroad, they cut the lesser temple to build the railroad. So they're right there where the steps are is part of the lesser temple mound. And of course they damaged it to put the railroad in, but a beautiful park with a lot of trails. Man, that was a tight fit in that tunnel. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick trip to Okmulgee Mounds National Historic Park near Macon, Georgia. Guys, this place is awesome. Highly recommend you add it to your trip. If you like adding things that have cultural significance to your trips, definitely places that share about the Native American heritage in our country are awesome places to go. Again, I'm gonna be back because I wanna go in that earthen mound and check it out but unfortunately it was closed today. We're gonna hit the road, it's time to get home. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight at our house in Tampa, Florida. So I'm excited about that. I know the kids are excited to get home too. This has been a 29 day trip, our summer trip this summer, and it has been fantastic. Again, guys, if you've missed any of the episodes, go back and check out that playlist. I'll put it down in the description below where you can check out our stops along this trip. It was fantastic. Guys, Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about Okmulgee Mounds or any of the places we were this trip or just getting outside in general, taking your kids camping, hiking, and fishing, we'd love to hear from you. Drop something in the comments below and we would love to hear from you. Or you can connect with us at our other social media on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or our website at campoutside.com. Well, I've got a six hour drive ahead of me before I hit the house. So we'll see you next time right here on Kemp Outside. Thanks for watching.